Um, so today what we're going to talk about are uh, gas prices first. Um, we're going to look at EtherScan. If you're new to Ethereum, you definitely need to look at EtherScan and uh, track how your transactions are moving. Um, we're going to look at my Ether wallet and then Uniswap. Um, so let's dive in here. If we go to etherscan.io, uh, it'll take us to this, um, this front page. Essentially what you can do is you can find your um, Ethereum address and you can put it in here and you can track your transactions. Um, additionally, uh, if you want to, let's see if we can find gas prices. So everything we do on Ethereum call, uh, takes gas. Basically, it takes a little bit of your Ethereum away to push the transaction out. Um, so let's go to here and let's see what the gas prices are. So you can also find it etherscan.io front slash gas tracker. <clears throat> so it looks like Ethereum gas is relatively inexpensive right now. Um, today is a Sunday about two o'clock. Um, so we're pretty good if we want to do some transactions on Ethereum right now. Um, it's not going to cost us a whole lot. Obviously, 94 cents seems like a lot, but it, lately it's been going up a lot more than that. So let's jump into my Ether wallet. This is one of the original dApps um, that I started using. Uh, one of the first ones I started using when I first got into Ethereum in early 2017. So essentially what you can do is create a new wallet or access your existing wallet. Um, also, uh, as a side, I want to make sure that you type in myetherwallet.com into this the, the bar up top. This uh, there's been uh, some scams uh, in the past. I don't know if it's still happening, but you want to make sure you're on myetherwallet.com. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and access my wallet. Um, it gives you a bunch of different options. We're going to use MetaMask since we're using a Web3 wallet. Go ahead and access it, and this notification should come up. Uh, just like the other Web3 applications, digital, uh, decentralized applications, uh, we'll see that we can sign in and connect. Okay, so boom, we're in. No sign in, no login, no sign up, passwords, all that craziness we have to deal with with Web2. Um, so we're, we're moving ahead. We're going to decentralized applications now, dApps. This is essentially a dApp. Um, is what it will allow you to do is send uh, tokens uh, ERC-20 tokens, if you have them in here, uh, it'll show those. You can send regular transactions on Ethereum. Uh, you can look at NFTs you may have. So NFTs that I have right now on this wallet are I have Ethereum naming service names that we've purchased as, uh, as a company. That is our NFT manager. Some people have CryptoKitties or Axie Infinity or Avigachi uh, NFT or they have NFT artwork or whatever. Um, that'll all show up in this manager. Um, with this, you can swap tokens as well. Um, I don't use this much. We'll use Uniswap for that. Um, and again, there's some other dApps in here and stuff. Uh, you can migrate. Uh, if you have Lend tokens, you can migrate them to Aave. Uh, you can create a state, a validator on ETH 2.0. Um, if you have up to, I think you need 32 uh, ETH to have a validator. So let's dive in here real quick. Yeah. So you could run, you know, four validators if you wanted for a cost of $158,000. Um, you'd have to buy the ETH. Of course, remember that uh, we're still in phase zero for ETH2, so there's no withdrawal contract. So they're working on that still. Additionally, uh, there's the unstoppable domains. You can get uh, .crypto. Uh, we prefer .eth personally, just because it's more comfortable for us um, and some other reasons. Uh, Additionally, um, let's see, you can, you can name your wallets, you can get a subdomain uh, registered to different wallets, um, and then the ENS manager as well, which for this, we typically use ens.domains, and you'll see that in our other videos. This is usually what we use for this, but again, it, the functionality is available on my Ether wallet as well. So if I want to, if I want to create my own name, Do transaction giant. Oh, it's available. Okay, so I could register here and then MetaMask will ask me to confirm the first transaction, which is uh, just to register it. And then you wait a minute and then you'll register it final. There'll be a final registration fee. So there's two fees. First one's usually just the price of gas. Um, and then the second one is going to be um, the cost plus the registration fee. 
and this is a decentralized service. So the money, I, I'm not really sure where the money goes to be honest with you. Um, I think it goes into an ENS register account. So we'll go back to the dashboard. Um, and again, we'll look through the dApps. As, as time goes on, there's gonna be more and more of these. Uh, this is a new one that I'm not familiar with, um, Amber Pay. And it looks like you can set up, uh, you can set up automatic trend, re recurring payments, which is kind of cool. So if we wanted to set up uh, recurring payments to us, to our business, just do fake.eth and see ENS automatically uh, resolves to this address, which is one of our one of our company addresses. Um, I can set it up to have an amount and then I could have it every 30 days. All right. So pretty interesting stuff. Anyway, so this is my Ether wallet. Um, Notice it's Web3 provider uh, is saying right here is ETH. So we're running on the Ethereum network. Um, also, if you have, it looks like I have some tokens here uh, that I didn't know about. IOV, I don't really know what that is, but I have 10 of them. Um, so that is uh, my Ether wallet. Let me go ahead and sign out, uh, uh, disconnect rather from the site. We don't actually sign in or sign out. So we'll disconnect. So if you notice, I went to these three uh, account options, these three little dots up here and go to connected sites and then go ahead and sign out of this connected site and it should close this out. Okay. Let's see what happens when I refresh. Okay. So now I'm signed out, right? Uh, the next one we're looking at is Uniswap, which is, uh, Again, one of the gas guzzlers, a lot of people use, are using Uniswap. And the way we can find out here is by going to Etherscan again and going to Gas Tracker. And then we notice that Uniswap V2 Router 2 is paying a lot of fees. Uh, the last three hours, I paid 100, 106 ETH. That's why I wanted to show it to you. Um, here we are. So this is going to be a little bit of like how to break into the, uh, break into the interface because it's not quite apparent. Um, what we want to do is uh, first we're gonna we're gonna look at some maybe a pair okay so let's for instance look at one that maybe is not quite trade as much uh, one that I happen to like um, that I've been using is a hex token which I got in early on the ICO or the the uh, the, the release it wasn't actually an ICO it was just a release to Bitcoin holders actually <laughs> so let's look at the hex ETH pair. And without going into what hex is, you can look that up on your own time. Um, basically, what we're looking at is the liquidity pool uh, and how much hex is sitting in the contract right now. Um, it looks like in the pool, there's 100,674,246 tokens that are available to buy. And then 659 ETH is probably how much it's worth, uh, I'm guessing. Um, so what you, this, I think these are recent transactions. Uh, so someone bought, let's see, uh, 19,000 hex recently, 30,000, 155,000 anyway. So this is, if I wanted to buy some hex, um, I would just go ahead and go up to trade. So take us to the interface. Now this is important. Uh, anyone can create ERC 20 tokens. Um, you, you, you know, you got to make sure that what you're buying is legit and I'll show you how to do that. Fortunately, they provide the contract here for the ERC 20 and it'll open up a new page. So we can kind of inspect the contract on Etherscan, right? So we're seeing that this, this um, contract has 201,000 holders. So it's probably not, it's legit. Okay. It's not some scammers coming up with a hex token and just putting it out there. So we can see that this is a legit contract. And the fact that someone just bought uh, 270,000 uh, hex tokens, they're prob it's probably legit, right? So we'll go back to Uniswap. And I understand that I'm looking at Etherscan to make sure this is a legit contract. Again, so since we're using Web3, there's no sign in, there's no login, there's no sign up. You already have a MetaMask account. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, sign in with our MetaMask. 
and boom, we're in. And see how it reverse resolves to bake that ETH. This is going to be really important in the future. Um, having a ENS domain will allow you to interact with these contracts, right? This is a smart contract on Ethereum. It's a very complex one, but it's still a smart contract and it reverse resolves. So we can make sure that this is the right account that we want to trade with. Um, in the future, uh, you probably won't be able to get a, a name like this, but you'll be able to append a word to the left of it. So it'd be like my name dot bake dot ETH. So that, but since we're so early to ENS, we decided just to get the domain registrations. So back to this, um, I want to get some hex. So let me just throw my max in there. Um, so if I throw my max in there, it's going to, there's going to be some gas costs too, right? And even though there is uh, low gas costs, according to relatively low gas costs, according to gas tracker, when you're doing a Uniswap um, transaction, there's more than just one uh, transaction that's get, that gets printed. It's usually three or four transactions. It's not just sending ETH from one wallet to another. It's sending ETH to a contract and then that contract does stuff and then it sends you, it sends you the tokens into your uh, uh, address. So it's essentially three or four um, different transactions. So it's going to be a little bit more expensive. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit swap. And it, it looks for liquidity um, that liquidity providers are, are providing. Um, we'll go ahead and confirm swap and just to see how this comes up. So it looks like the gas is going to cost me 10 bucks for, you know, it's probably like four transactions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reject this because I don't need any, any hex right now. I can get some later. Um, and I have plenty already that's sitting in contracts right now on hex.com. So we'll go ahead and reject this um, and we'll close it. Uh, so that's generally the interface. Um, there's a lot of token pairs. Um, a lot of it looks like the ones that are you know the most volume are USDC and ETH and wrapped BCC and Ether. Well, wrapped BC, BTC is probably is probably just people using uh, their their BTC um, and using it as Ether and maybe transferring it to like a decentralized finance contract or something like that. Of course, Uniswap has a governance token. And if you were lucky enough to get in on that, um, you, to use Uniswap in the past, they, they dropped uh, quite a bit of free tokens out to users. So yeah, these are some of the other things. Of course, we have Aave. Um, we'll just go through a lot of these are lower liquidity. Um, as we get further down, they're just less and less liquid, meaning there's less and less people trading them, but you know that can change. So yeah, that pretty much will do it for this video. Um, Thanks a lot for listening.